Hey, what's up, guys? It's Arlie, and I'm here with another video, and we are watching Captain America versus Thanos. Um, let's get right into it. Um, it, is, it, it I, I, this movie is amazing. Okay, if you have not seen it, you need to go see it. Amazing visuals, as usual. Now, to give you guys some context, I have seen this movie three times already. Um, by the way, the background, I'm in a college apartment, so um, if it looks a little different from my normal setup, that's because I just moved, of course. But anyways, let's get right into it. He said, you know it's a trap, right? <laughs> and Iron Man said, I don't much care. <laughs> now that scene gave me chills. Seeing Thor, Cap, and Iron Man walk up. Like, dude. You could not live with your own failure. Where did that bring you? Huh. <laughs> I saw it by eliminating half the lives. The other half was fraud. And you've shown me. As long as there are those that remember what was, there will always be those that are unable to accept what can be. Oh. Yep, we're all kinds of stubborn. <laughs> Like, I like, he said, you couldn't live with your own failure. And it's crazy because that shot is so epic. It kind of gives me some Steven Spielberg chills in a way that that shot is, sh the way that scene is shot is that they're just walking up slowly and confronting the biggest demon that they've ever faced. Um, it's the same thing if you've watched um, Stephen King's It, where at the end they walk into the sewer. If you watch part two of the original uh, it movies uh, you see them the characters walk up you know it's their last battle it, it's so cool And never gets old because the crazy part is that I've seen this movie three times already in theaters and it's never gotten old. I mean, I've seen it two times in theaters and one time on the internet. Um, but yeah, I've seen it three times. It never gets old. Ooh! 
When I first saw this movie, I was like, they gave Hawkeye justice. Like, not only did they do the Ronin arc of Hawkeye right, but they just did Hawkeye justice because I feel like in all the other films, they just underused him. But in this film, they really did use him a lot. Here comes Gamora and the other Nebula. <laughs> Typical Hawkeye. He's, he he makes the smartest move he can make at the moment. Is it just me or was Thanos like way more vicious in this movie? Like in the other movies he was not as vicious, you know what I'm saying? Ooh. Ooh. The crazy part when I went to the theaters and saw this for the first time, everyone went like, What? <laughs> When I actually told my girlfriend about this like three months ago, I had this theory that they would actually do what happened in the comics. Captain America actually hit Thanos in the like in the chin with Normir in the comics. So I didn't know if they was gonna bring that to the MCU, but I said that's a theory that could actually happen, you know. Thanos straight up went into rage mode, bro. I thought Captain America was, that was his death. I thought that was when, okay, this is when Cap dies. But man, that was tough. 
It was tough to watch. Like, I can't, I can't, it's so, it's so hard, it's, I get so excited looking at this, because I'm such a comic book nerd that it's, it's so sad, sad, so satisfying to see that, now I don't agree that Thanos' power level should have went up, but it was so cool, I don't see how, like, I don't know, this like doesn't make sense how he's just his power level is the same as when he had the stones in terms of strength. You know, it doesn't un- unless Thanos was always strong and he just relied on the stones for power. And the whole, I don't know. It just doesn't make any sense. Like I feel like he's more powerful in this movie than he was in Infinity War. But then again, he took his armor off and everything in Infinity War. He just felt like, hey, I'm untouchable at this point. I mean, like, people in a theater screamed at this moment. At this particular moment when Captain summoned the hammer. Now, a lot of people don't understand. How did Cap, like, summon Normir? It doesn't make any sense. Well, they set it up in Age of Ultron, right? And if you think about it, they also, with the hammer, uh, like, they show that he could pick it up a little bit. And I think it's, these, these are my two theories why he was able to summon it. Maybe he couldn't pick it up all the way in Age of Ultron because he wasn't completely worthy yet. He was holding in that lie from Tony, what happened to his parents and Bucky. So, like, um, Captain was lying about that, and that one lie kept him from being worthy. Or, two, he was always worthy but didn't want to embarrass Thor. So, I'm going to go with number one. I think it's just because the whole Bucky thing and that wasn't making him worthy. And then two, um, I think two could be, like, what it really is. Like, he could pick it up the whole time, just didn't want to do it, you know, for Thor. But it's like, if he could do it the whole time, why, well, I take that back. He didn't have it, and he didn't have Normir in Infinity War, so of course he couldn't use it then. Um, But, you know, I don't know, it just doesn't make sense a little bit sometimes. But I, I think it's just, I think it's those two, you know. <laughs> he said, I knew it. <laughs> It never gets old seeing that. It never gets old. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. And peace.